we're going to learn about the silent letters in these four combinations. If you have KN at the start of a root word, meaning a word without any prefixes or suffixes, the K will be silent. So this sound is N, N, not. EE -E says E, knee, knit. OW says O in this word, no, known. We can add suffixes such as ing, and it doesn't change anything. So this is knowing. EW says oo, new. We can add a prefix, and the K will still be silent, unknown. In this word, we have the prefix un, and two suffixes, ing and li, unknowingly. Here are some more words. This E is a silent E. It will make the I say I, knife knives. Notice that when we go from one knife to multiple, the F becomes a V. We can add the suffix ing, knocking, knelt. I-G-H says I, night, knock. Let's take a look at this word here. When you have a longer word that ends in L-E with a consonant before it, we divide it three letters from the end into syllables. This letter U is in the middle of a syllable, so we will try the short sound. So we get knuckle. E-E -E says E, kneel, knack, knock. One of the few words where K and N don't have the sound of N is the word darkness. Notice here we have the root dark, and the N is only here because of the suffix ness. So the silent K rule applies when the K is at the beginning of a root word, not when you have added a suffix such as ness to the end of a word ending in the letter K. If you have MB at the end of a root, the B will be silent. So this is M, mm, M, mm, lamb, a lamb is a baby sheep, bomb, limb, numb, dumb. Here we have the root word dumb, and we can add the suffix er, dumber. So again, the B is silent when the M and B is at the end of a root. We can still add a suffix and have the B be silent. These two letter O's are both going to have the oo sound, so tomb and womb. On this slide, all the underlined vowels will use their long sound. So we have comb combing, climb, climbing, climber. If you have MN at the end of a root, the N will be silent. So this sound is M, mm, M. Mm. AU says AW, ah, autumn, column, solemn. If you have WR, this is WN, but this should be WR, at the start of a root, the W will be silent. So this sound is er, er, wrist, wrist, wreck. We can add suffixes, wrecking, wrap, wrapper, wrapping, wrench, wren. A wren is a type of bird and wrinkle. Right here, this I will be long because the root word is right and then we've added the suffix er. When we add the suffix, we don't keep both E's, we only keep one. So we have writer, written, writers. We can add prefixes and as long as the root starts with WR, the W will be silent. So unwritten, Right here, we have a compound word. It's made of the word song plus the word writer. Song writer, wrong. We can add suffixes, wrongly. If you start a word with G and N, the G will be silent. So this sound is N, N, Nat, Nash, Nashing, Gnome. AR says R. Gnarl. Right here, this GN will just have the sound of N. The A is at the beginning of a word, and A at the beginning of a word often schwas and takes on a muffled uh sound. 
this I will be long. So this word is align. The rest of this lesson is optional. If you have MB at the end of a root word, the B is silent, like in the word crumb. But sometimes the B will take on a sound when you add other letters to the end in a suffix. Like here we have crumble. Here we have limb with a silent B, but we add the suffix er and it becomes limber. Here we have condemn with a silent N, but when we add the letter A, and the suffix shun, it becomes condemnation, where the end sound is clearly heard. If you have gn followed by a Latin root, the end can also have its sound. Like here we have the word sign with a long i and a silent n, and we add the suffix al, and it becomes signal. Most of the time, A-L at the end of a word takes on the muffled ul sound. This Y is between two consonants and will have a short I sound. So this is him with a silent N. Here we're going to add the muffled suffix ul to get hymnal, where you can clearly hear the N sound. Here we have column with a silent N. And when we add the suffix ist, it becomes columnist. Here we have a word that looks like a line from a previous screen, but we've just added an M, so it's malign. But when we add some suffixes, it becomes malignancy, where the N sound is clear. If you find this useful, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. If you need more practice, you can download Word Mastery and work on those pages.